I'm just going to start here because I always like to put my mat so it's kind of invisible. So, especially with Kevlar, the use. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful of that too. Here, you go that. This is also why I double it. Now you kind of have a knot that's already in there. Awesome. So, yeah. We got people taping this so we can put it on YouTube if we need to. Yeah. So. People. 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 <laughs> There's two. That's people. <laughs> you know? So, it's a, we're sewing through the double. We have it doubled here, so there's no fray. Okay, you use a straight needle. I prefer a straight needle. You don't have to use a straight yeah, the needle. The curved needle is, I, I think it's pink, but. I prefer the curved needle. Some people yeah, prefer curved. Because they're round. Because yeah, some round. people prefer curved. I prefer straight. Um, that's probably because that's I've been sewing. Yeah. <coughs> actually, I found this one. This is actually really easy to push through. Mm -hmm. Makes it nice and easy. Because Kevlar can be a pain in the butt to get through. Now, yeah. is that a specific kind of is thread? Yes, this is, this. yeah, these are upholstery. You know, give me the one of those little kits. And the thread is Kevlar thread. Yeah, Kevlar thread. So you want to use a Kevlar thread, and you want to make sure that your knots are, t that your threading is tight because you want it to become part of, basically part of the material. You don't want, because Kevlar thread by itself will burn and will burn up. So you want to make sure that that Kevlar is part of the material. So nice and tight. That also helps to keep, keep it on there. I use those little, you know those little rubber thumbs that you get yeah. in the office? Office things to pull it through because I, to me that's, yeah. it's so, yeah. What? You know those little rubber thumbs so you, you get from office supplies? Oh, yeah, yeah cause I, so I now it's in my way. So, Because right That's now, look how, smart. because it's already on there, Yeah. it's not moving. So we're going to go ahead and continue to sew down. <laughs> the really ugly ones, the pretty ones don't work. The, like they, make, they make these real pretty ones that are like all different colors. For me, those don't work. Okay. Sometimes you got to work your way through the Kevlar because it is Kevlar. <laughs> So when you started this, um, when you loop the, um, or push the Kevlar through the loop yeah. in the beginning, then you sew. Then you start then. sewing from there. Okay. So you're Be sewing one on, on the inside and then the yeah. outside. Yeah, because you got to get from here, underneath, to this loop. Because you, you don't really want a whole lot of fray on the ends, and if it frays on the ends, you have um, serious... It can it can slip. I mean, it can just come right off because you know Kevlar will f any Kevlar will f will fray like any other material if it's not if it's not um, sealed. You can use sometimes what I'll do is like just use glue and I'll just seal the end of the Kevlar just so it won't fray, and then you can fold it back. And the glue is not going to do anything to kev to the Kevlar. It's going to actually. It should be up. It should be up there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now, just keep it nice and tight. Yeah, just regular Elmer School glue. Because what happens is the heat actually cures the glue and makes it really strong. Oh wow. So now we're just gonna knot it, and we want a nice strong, just regular knot. I'm going to double knot it. And before I even, this is another little trick to do. Before you cut it, run it right back through. Where are the scissors? I just got this. Right there. Oh, they fell down. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to cut this nice and close. There we go. So that's your basic. So get that in there. So. You see how it's nice and solid? <coughs> and right now, this is not really going anywhere. So, and I believe, is this, no, this is, I don't know if she doubled it inside as well. But yeah, that's nice and tight. That's not really gonna go anywhere. But if you wanna give it an extra layer of security to make sure that that sucker isn't gonna go anywhere. All right. Loop it through one of the edges here. Okay, I'm going to do that same knot I did earlier, like that, to loop it right through. See that? 
nice and tight. <laughs> Loop it in the I'm inside. You want to get as much of the thread as you can in there. And this is where, you know, if you have a thumb thing, push it through. Yeah. Or rubber band. Like, yeah. if you've got a thick rubber band, yeah. that works too. Yeah. Just anything you have to grip. Yeah, this, this, this needle is a, uh, it's got like a triangle end, so it really makes it nice and easy to push through. I'm going to try that. And again, you want to keep it very close to the vest. You said this is just a combination of paper mache. It's not paper, uh, plaster and paris strips. It's, it's the plaster, it's the strips that you buy in the little package that you use for like gift crafts. I wish I had remembered to put water on the right. Yep. These for what? Like kids' crafts and stuff, like masses. Well, it's probably the medical supply. Yeah. You can buy it. Um, I've sourced it because of doing belly um, bumps and um, belly casts, and um, you can go into Texas Art Supply and just buy like a box of it. Yeah, that's like what that. we did. We bought a box of like 20 strips. Yeah. All right. And this so. was still on a roll. So what are you doing there, buddy? You're just making a big knot at the end. Yeah. What? Right now? Yeah. I just knotted it because I'm finishing up. Mm -hmm. So now I've got it up here. This isn't going to go anywhere. Okay. So now we're going to just do our finishing knot here. That's it. Yeah, you definitely want to do that Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if if this happens, you see how that loop happens there? Yeah. Tighten up the other string. It means one of the strings is loose. Okay. So we'll go over that in the so in the fire in the fire sword class when we start sewing. But make sure that's nice and tight. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna just gonna stick it in here, pull it through. Mm -hmm. Clip it close, because this also keeps you from clipping off your knot, because yeah. you want to clip it That's really smart. close. You don't want to clip off your knot. Throw it back through the thread, clip it. It's got just enough tail on it. So there we go. And see, in this, I suck it. So that is... So you go from that. Yeah, so this one. No, the starting piece. You're talking about one time use. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Can you put it on a model? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you, Betty. And when you wrap it, you get to the Would you guys 